Ladies and gentlemen, I regret not being in Finland this week to join your celebration of the International Year of Forests. Your topics focusing on future generations, renewable forests and bioenergy touch the core of the challenges we face in a resource-stressed future. I trust this video message will provide you with an insight to my views and also stimulate yours. The enormity of climate change is contributing to hard debate and choices in the search for solutions. The very longevity of forests adds an extra dimension. What we do in our daily lives today will affect forests for generations to come. We must prepare if we want to leave healthy, functioning forests to future generations. We cannot take the relatively stable status of forest cover in Europe for granted. And we cannot either take for granted that forests will remain a sink for carbon sequestration. Sustainability will be challenged, especially in forests. We need to improve our knowledge to face this reality. The Commission's Green Paper on Forests Protection and Information in the European Union described the challenges we face and the situation now. But delivering the high level of protection of forests will require a great deal of effort from not only the Commission, but all of us, Member States, European Parliament, European Union foresters and all stakeholders involved. We are now working with Member States and especially their national forest inventories with a view to improve coherence and cost effectiveness of forest information related inter alia to climate, soil, biodiversity and water issues. A report of a working group made up of Member States, experts, stakeholders and the Commission is due in early 2012. It should fit into future work, including the review of the European Union forest strategy later in the same year. Forests are not immune to the current debates surrounding direct and indirect land use change, biomass for energy in this context and forestry within the climate and energy area. We need to steer a careful path in ensuring that meeting our 2020 biomass and biofuels goals does not contradict our climate goals and does not come at an expense of world food and feed supply, biodiversity conservation and water protection. This is not an easy task and whatever progress we make has to be carefully measured against overall aims. In the Commission, we are discussing these issues in detail now and the outcome will become clearer in coming weeks. Resource efficiency, Climate change and energy provision in the future will dominate the environmental agenda in forestry. Finding the right linkages and solutions based on sound science and up-to-date information will be crucial. I'm confident we can do this and hope your efforts can help in this endeavor. I wish you all success with your event.